Hi everyone, so this video is going to be all things industrial economics. Now I remember when I was searching up uni courses and industrial economics came up and I couldn't actually find many videos compared to just standard economics. So I thought that, you know, I might as well do a video answering some people's questions as well. Like a few people have been asking me, you know, what is industrial economics? What's the difference between that and normal economics? You know, are the job prospects like the same as normal economics? Is there a lot of maths? All of these questions I will be answering in this video video. Just a quick disclaimer though, I am in second year so I can't really talk on third year but I'll, I can talk about first year and up until the point in second year that I am now. So without further ado, the first question was what is economics? Like not even industrial economics, what is economics? So I guess the best way for me to describe it is economics is a social science. I think a lot of people seem to think that economics is like money or like you know just finance it's not it's actually a social science there are elements of finance incorporated in it if that's the route you want to go down but um yeah economics is a social science so it's basically looking at like the behavior between different elements in our economy so like there are individuals there are companies which we call firms there's also like the government there are banks there are like so many different things incorporated in our economy and we're just kind of like analyzing how do they behave how do they interact you know what are the types of things that they do how are they structured um how do they kind of achieve like the best that they can and so that is kind of in simple terms what economics is so there are like different elements of economics so there's microeconomics which more focuses on small scale things so you know how businesses interact with consumers you know what causes a consumer to buy what they buy you know why do we do certain things when we go to the shops stuff like that um obviously it's a lot more complex than that but in simple terms that is what it is and then in macroeconomics that's when we're talking about big scale we're thinking international trade between countries we're thinking you know how do banks interact with the government and then how does the government think of the policies that they do and how do they incorporate that into society you know a lot of the things that we live out on a daily basis are to do with economics we just don't realize it because i think everyone just thinks economics is finance it's not and then industrial economics is thinking about all of that but then applying it to actual industries so for example um i like to think of it as if you're going to do industrial economics it really builds your general knowledge because you will learn about the car industry the next week you're learning about um the food industry then you're learning about retail then you're learning about you learn about so many different industries to a point where you gain so much knowledge and the models that you learn no longer become just models but you're actually learning it and applying it to real life so um yeah i would say that industrial economics is all of that but incorporated into actual industries i would say that with industrial economics it's very flexible compared to other economics courses um i can only speak for nottingham because that's where i'm studying it but um, we have core modules which are mainly like economic modules we have like some business core modules as well where we're learning about like organizations and how they interact and stuff but then you also have optional modules as well where you're you can pick like it's so vast so core modules are things you have to do it's compulsory everyone's doing it everyone who does industrial economics has to do the core module there are some core modules that everyone in the business school has to do or like most of the people in the business school have to do so those are modules where like majority of people have to do them but then you have like optional modules which is like you have a list and out of the list you can pick what you want to study now like some people on my course they you know wanted to pick a language some people on my course picked business modules i picked business modules because i want to go into business some people picked finance modules you know so it's very vast um so i would say in that respect like the modules are actually very flexible and in terms of like whether it's hard or not i would say like the effort is like really correlated to your interest if you are genuinely interested in it then you will put a lot of effort in it and there are certain things you'll find easier than others for me i am very much in like an essay based person like it took me a while to become an essay but don't get me wrong when i first got to you i was not an essay based person <laughs> but 
I built that level of knowledge to be an essay person. I wouldn't say that I'm as strong with maths, but they gave me that support to kind of do both. Um, so it's really about like what you're interested in really. But overall, as a course, I'm a regular, regular girl and I feel like, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I guess in this part of the video, I might as well ask you to subscribe, you know, if you're liking what you're hearing, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll try and do a lot more videos like this where I'm just like letting you know how things really are, giving you the deep dive into what it's actually like at uni. Okay, so the next question is, is there a lot of maths? Now guys, I didn't do A-level maths and as a person who didn't do A-level maths, I personally feel like compared to pure economics, there is not as much maths. I look at some of the maths that I see in my friend's economics lectures and I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> my one has a lot less maths um, and because I didn't do A-level maths, they gave me like a module which kind of caught me up. Um, to like the level of other people. Um, I definitely say though that if you didn't do A-level maths and you are looking to do this course, I would say when you do eventually do the modules to do with maths, if you don't understand something, make sure you deal with it then. Because what I would do is just push it. And then like the more maths that would come about, it was like, I didn't know how to do the next stage because I didn't deal with the times when I didn't understand certain things. So I would definitely say, if I'm being completely honest with you, it is actually not that difficult if you didn't do a level maths but just deal with things when you do find them difficult so that over time you're pretty much at the same level as other people who did do a level maths um i would say that not a lot of a level maths is actually involved you know it's a very small percentage of a level maths involved a lot of it is like applying it to economics um but i definitely say you know as long as you put a lot of effort into it it should be fine okay so the next question is how do you get assessed um so with industrial economics again it's to do with the modules that you pick it's to do with like you know what type of route you want to go down obviously if you were to pick an optional language module it'll be very different to if you were to pick a business one but overall like i say in the course i've been assessed through essay writing coursework group work as well where you're working with other members um i've also had to do a poster at some point and i was assessed on that um i had to do a video video creation obviously i love that one because <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've been kind of on workshops as well. But yeah, like there's so many different ways that you get assessed in this module, um, which I really like as well because it kind of gives me the opportunity to use different skills and not everyday essays or not everyday um, coursework. So that is another good thing about this course. That was more first year though. I think as time went on, I, I had to do more like essays and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's very flexible. Okay, and then the final question is, do people that do industrial economics get the same job opportunities as those who do pure economics? So I would say like in the grand scheme of things, yes, because it's still at the end of the day, very much economics based. But I would say that like as you as an individual, if you have picked industrial economics, I would say apply to jobs where you know that you have the resources in order to do that job. So for example, if you know that you have picked more business optional modules like me, I am most likely going to go down the business route. If you pick more finance related optional modules and you want to go down finance or if you pick more like consultancy based um, modules and you want to go down consultancy, I think there are also core modules that cover elements as well. So you should be fine. But like just make sure that when you're picking optional modules, also pick them so that they align with your career path so that you naturally know you have experience. Like I love marketing. I love branding. So I made sure I picked an optional module that had marketing at some point um and that really did help me in order to know that like yeah i do have experience with marketing like i guess i do economics but i have experience in other areas as well but i hope that kind of like answers your questions obviously as always if you have any more questions whether that's about uni generally or if that's to do with like a video that you potentially want to see make sure that you leave it in the comment section down below also let me know what you think um about industrial economics if you do industrial economics make sure you let me know yeah make sure as always to like comment and subscribe until next time <laughs>